channel i'm so glad you're back if you're new welcome thank you for checking me out so the other day i went to the mall and i went into sephora and i picked up the um tartlet in bloom palette um as soon as i saw this palette i was drawn to it um i always am with the neutral palettes um and this is what it looks like but the shimmery color funny girl in particular is what caught my eye so I knew I had to have it um, this is the palette that I use on my eyes I didn't use any other shades um, no other eyeshadows for transition colors or anything because this palette had everything I needed so I don't know what I'm gonna call this look but it'll obviously be in the title already um, but I really liked using this palette today I also really contoured and highlighted and you know all that stuff that we love to do in makeup um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video um, don't forget to like oh, excuse me <clears throat> don't forget to like share comment um, all of those wonderful things and thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy so right here I am priming my eyes I'm using the same primer I always use the Fergie um, wet n wild primer primer and I'm just priming my eyes so my shadows last um, longer um, and I am just setting that primer with the skin tone color the sculpt shade from the black radiance contour palette just setting it so it's not tacky and the shadows don't skip and I'm going right into the bloom palette and I'm showing you what colors I don't remember the names but if you have the palette or you've seen it you know which color it's that dark burgundy color um, it's matte and I'm going into my crease blending it in blending it in my crease really well um, just building it up I added a little bit more um, into my crease with a big fluffy brush as you guys can see um, so it's not um, really harsh it's kind of soft a uh, soft fade into the crease Then I'm going into that darker color it's matte again and I'm going in the outer corner I'm focusing it mostly on the outer corner um, and close to my uh, lash line I didn't like really bring it into my crease because this um, look was a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be but I still like how it turned out and then I'm going back in with the other brush and I'm just blending that and then I'm going in with this softer neutral more neutral color and I'm kind of softening the edges and just softening the um, the darkness that was there because um, I did want it to create depth with my eyes there I'm slightly hooded so I always like to go in to the crease with a matte darker color but um, I just wanted to soften that up a little bit and you can see where I'm placing the brush um, for my eye shape I'm just blending with that softer um, color and so far I have used only matte colors I tend to use mostly matte and then shimmer on my lid and I don't I don't have a good shot of this but I put this super beautiful beautiful shimmery color funny girl I do remember that shade I put that over my lid as you guys can see I did sorry there wasn't a clip of that and then I'm just going back in with the crease brushes that I use and I'm just blending the edges I'm sorry you can't see I'm promise you I'm working on staying in frame um, and then I'm going to go in with a, um, I went in with a uh, tear duct color around the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten up. And that same color that I use in my inner tear duct, I'm using right now to highlight my brow bone. Um, and then I'm just going to take a big blush, dig a big brush, excuse me, and blend everything together. I'm going to do lashes and liner. And then I'm going into my face makeup. But you guys know how I do that, so enjoy the rest of the video. So I'm gonna walk myself away. I don't have a lot to say until the liquor gets me going. But I see fear in your eyes again. Love in the corner where we never wanted to go. Something you never know. 
Make it.